is a great consolation for each and every one of us, dearly beloved, to know that our Lord really doesn't look who is who, but helps each and every one of those who are in need of His help. And one of the proofs that it is really so, we find on the pages of Holy Scriptures exactly the one reading that we have heard today about a very, very interesting and somewhat puzzling way of healing diseases done by our Lord and Savior. Namely, when our Lord once came to the city of Capernaum, a captain came to him and begged him to do something about his ill servant. And Jesus, being really so surprised, surprised in a positive way that is, that a captain, needless to say, a captain of the Roman army, of the basically foreign occupation of force, that's who he was, that captain, came to Jesus and asked him for a help. And Jesus said, yes, I will. I will come. But the captain then continued the dialogue and said, Lord, I am too a man of authority, subject to authority. And also I have soldiers who are under me. And when I did, <coughs> gave orders and said to one, go, he goes. And to other one, come, he comes. And to the third one, do this, he does. I am not worthy that you enter under my roof. Just say a word, and I know my servant will be well. Jesus was really greatly amazed by such a great faith shown by this Roman captain. And he said, Great is your faith in me. Go and let it be according to your faith. So Jesus didn't ask him, what is your nationality? What is your religion? What language do you speak? How is pita being made in your village? How is your brother making the supa? How are your ancestors dancing the call or so? He just saw a man in need. And he answered immediately. And he answered by willingness to go. And he was even more surprised when he discovered what kind of a faith that captain had. Because he believed in God's word alone. It was said, just say a word and I know it will be sufficient for the healing of my soul. Very often we depend on that single word. But the question is, do we address the Lord and Savior, the one who has the power to change the things and to do the things? Or are we asking the people who in our eyes and our understanding are influential and have might and power and then say, look, well, wouldn't you say a word for me? Instead of asking God, God, could you say a word for me? Or just if we would be of good courage all the time and say, let your will be done, O Lord. Because every time when we ask for something in prayer, first of all, we should be aware that we should be asking only those things which are expedient for us. Not everything we wish, not everything we ask for in prayer is good for us and is beneficial. And sometimes when we think that our prayers have not been answered, we are mistaken. Our prayers are always answered. But sometimes the answer is no. And only God knows why. Because 
maybe no is much better for me as of now because I don't see the whole picture that God does. Sometimes the answer is not yet. And we should be really of good courage behaving like this captain and saying, Lord, just say a word. At your time, Lord. And when captain returned home, his servant was well. So everything is going to get well in our life. Well, not according to our standards, but according to God's measurement. Because sometimes the problems, temptations, difficulties, obstacles that we are dealing with and we are surrounded with are there exactly to strengthen us, to help us, to see the things a little bit better, with more clarity. Because maybe without those things, we wouldn't see the things the way they really are. Very often, when some unexpected problems, and the problems are most of the time unexpected, when they hit us, then the first question that most of us ask is, why me? Why now? That is not the orthodox standpoint. When something of that nature happens, if we should ask anything, our first question ought to be, why not me? Not why me, but why not me? And always trying to see some kind of a message that God is sending to me through this particular event, which I might find as unhappy, unholy, unfortunate, and so on. But ultimately, it is there to serve a much higher purpose, to teach me something, to open unto me a horizon which without that situation would have remained closed. Let us, the Almighty Lord, to give us the faith and the same kind of love and boldness with which this Roman captain has approached him, so that we really, really have not a blind faith, but a firm faith that the Lord God and His Word, His Son, Jesus Christ, has the power to do everything, but not according to our will and on our watch, 